let's take back. What if we were 25 years ago? Let's yeah. say 1980, a young Hallie Nelson. <laughs> and let's say the UFC was around uh, and established. Yeah. Would you see yourself fighting at this level? I know you kind of put the martial arts stamp there and was, was a pioneer yourself in getting into martial arts. Well, well, yeah, we, they were like I, I grew up in Keplavik. It was uh, it's uh, the nearest town to, to the airport, mm. and there was a military base there back then, and uh, that was like yeah, 30, 40 years ago, and just as many kilos. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we did. We uh, there were a couple of us who were like all into martial arts, and, and we loved that, and we were following all the Bruce Lee movies and all of that. All of that, th all of that stuff, and we would do some 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 training, and uh, some kickbox training, and we also had like takedowns, and we'd do some jiu-jitsu and everything. It was kind of like a little bit close to MMA, nothing as serious as we have now. Was it just from books you were picking up, like the Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Yeah, it wasn't YouTube or anything. <laughs> no, no YouTube back then. <laughs> Wish it was, and and. Definitely, if, if MMA and UFC had been around then, we, we, we would have been like all for that. And, and we would go up on the military base and do some training with those guys there. They had some kickboxing training. But it was like boxing, uh, pro boxing was, is illegal in Iceland and now we have Olympic boxing. And uh, so, so we had to be like a, a little bit discreet about this. <laughs> but, but yeah, we, we, we used to do like all full contact sparring and everything and, and go up and spar with the Americans and it was so much fun and, uh, and uh, you know, but it was nothing as serious as we have now and uh, more like a scrapple or whatever. <laughs> yes, it was like a good underground little fight club. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. No, it yeah. sounds like you guys were very into the martial arts and learning. So De Definitely. And we were all for that. And we read all the materials we could get. And I remember getting uh, Black Belt, the, the magazine, in, in the local bookstore. And, and I would get it there. You know, they would, they would order it for me and stuff like that. And there were other guys who did the same that were even more developed than I was, uh, older guys, and uh, a good friend of mine who actually started this, uh, this training that I was in, uh, is a few years older than I, and, and he contacts me every now and then, and oh, yeah, yeah, so two of them that, that were older than I were, and, and, uh, and uh, they still contact me, and they're all into following Guinea, and so is my like, lifelong buddy. That, that used to train with me in, in Cap like uh, the same year as I am and uh, and many other guys like they're all like very into this still like loving martial arts and following the UFC obviously and and what's going on in the MMA world so yeah yeah well to think I mean if it wasn't for all of that and your interests and the magazine and the friends <laughs> like it probably wouldn't be standing here today I mean the it kind of takes many little events to get a you know a big event like yeah. this and something this huge having your son headlining a, a big card like this oh, headlining in in stockholm this uh, in october is like a dream come true for for, Gunia, for myself i'm very proud and yeah you're right like like all these little things i guess you never know what what the uh, path you're gonna take but obviously me being uh you know, very much into martial arts and, and uh, watching all these martial arts movements and Gunny would watch it with me like when he got older, like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan and whatever. And then he started into karate and his friend who actually runs the club now is the president of our club. And he, uh, he introduced Gunny to MMA because I have to admit, I used to rent those like UFC one, two, three, and four mm -hmm. at a, a local video shop, and I wouldn't. Like, Gunny was so young back then; I didn't want him to watch it. I thought it was a little bit, you know, too much for him to watch at that time because he was very lively and everything. But uh, but I, I remember watching the first UFC. I just wow, wow, this is gonna be something, and and you could just like see almost without without a, a clear vision or anything, you could see this this would probably develop. It was a little bit brutal back then with like uh, no Rhyme strikes and head Yeah, bats, yeah, you know. everything like that and, and but still it had something to it. Mm -hmm. Like it had something to it and after they like uh, made the unified rules and everything uh, everybody knows the rest of the story like how it's developed and, uh, and how great it is now. 
All right, well, congratulations on everything and just getting to this point, and we wish you luck on October 4th. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Alex. Thanks.